<laughs> I hate to break the fishing news up, Ramchuk, but I'd like to speak about the ice hockey. Congratulations. Eight You're one of the 13 days. listeners of the Real Life Podcast. We just traded a migraine in for like an orgasm. You might want to mark that down. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All of my projects are on schedule until they're not. A member of the Nation Network of Podcasts. About as funny as we're going to get today. We're starting the podcast 20 minutes late. Uh-huh. Driving me bananas. Welcome into real life Monday edition of the pod. You add an extra five on here. You were out there socializing. Yeah, I was out there socializing. And then it was like, you know what? Why don't we just bring the people I'm socializing with May onto well. the podcast? So if, if you've been following along on uh, on social media, you obviously know that there is a handful of Oilers fans in from everywhere. We got our boy Jack, uh, Russ Jericho. They're both in from the UK. And then we also have our boy Brandon from Illinois, and we got our guy Dukes in from Australia. So I was talking with him outside, and Jay and BM had the idea. Just just bring them in and, and bring them on the pod. So, Dukes, what's going on, big man? Oh, not much, man. Just like, oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah I really want to really eat right that mic, it. Dukes. Yep. Yeah, so. Um, like you're yeah. chugging a beer, Dukes. He- <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, oh, being here has been like, just incredible. Like it's really hard to put into words. Like, even though the team has lost every game since I've been here, <laughs> I wasn't going to bring it just up. Been been like, oh, man, they could lose 10 nil and I'm still having the best time. Like, it's just, just being here, being a part of it, walking past the, the barn, like the day before the game, just, just everything, just actually being part of it for two weeks just is crazy just still even sitting in the rink just didn't didn't feel real yeah it was just yeah fucking. also jet lagged yeah well that's pretty fucking bit how you go on as well yeah. so like didn't help but like after 2 p.m onwards each day has been pretty pretty good oh that's when i just start to wake up half the time yeah that's when i like, get my first yeah. wind is around 2 p.m every day Ex- exactly so that's like that's like 6 a.m back home so like it kind of works out so like, brandon you're in from illinois are you like born and raised there? Yeah. So then why are you an Oilers fan? So hockey is not big, like around where I'm from. Like I'm, so if you drew a line from St. Louis to Chicago, we're like right in the middle. Okay. So just no one in my family cared about hockey growing up. None of my friends cared. Um, I graduated high school in 06 and I started to get into hockey and that's when they went on their cup run. And I just remember watching those games and like seeing the crowd and the atmosphere and like the energy and I just like fell in love with it. And I really wanted to support a Canadian team just because I had no connection to the blues or the Blackhawks. Like I'm a Cardinals fan and I'm a bears fan, but I just kind of wanted to do my own thing. So I just picked the Oilers. And when I picked them, I couldn't have picked Alberta on a map. I had zero idea where they were from. I was just like, this is my squad now. And now it's just been that way ever since. And the fact you jumped on in 06 and then <laughs> whatever that'll happen for the next yeah. 12 years happened. It was tough rough. sledding there for a minute. It was rough, but I've been a Bears fan my whole life. And that's a lot of yeah, tough just, sledding. That's why I'm a Browns fan. Yeah. You, you, you like that pain. So Chase it's it. like in in that time span. So like the Bears lost the Super Bowl. The the Cardinals lost the World Series in 04. Uh, the University of Illinois is like 45 minutes from is us. Is that the Fighting Illini? Yeah. So their college cool. basketball team lost the national championship and the Oilers lost the cup. So it's like <laughs> I, I was bred into misery. So it's fine. <laughs> like I feel I feel I feel right at home. <laughs> and then speaking of feeling right at home, like you've been talking how crazy it is since you got here. Like people are stopping you at the games, just being like, Hey, are you enjoying the trip? And it's like, well, yeah. So I, I put out a tweet last month, uh, just saying, like, me and my wife are coming, you know, to town. We're big Warriors fans. And just like looking for some restaurants or bars or just stuff to do, you know, cause we're going to be here 10 days. And then it just like blew up and I got all these responses and DMS and like all this stuff. I totally unexpected. And then since we've been here, you know, I just kind of been like giving recaps of what we do every day, but the amount of messages I get every single day. And then when we go to the games, like the first game we went to, the first time I went to buy a beer, the lady recognized us. Like, like you're the guy from Twitter. And it's, it's so wild. It's like I'm 2,000 miles from home. Like, I'm just some dude. I'm just here to watch my team. But everybody's just been so nice and accommodating. Like, one to meet in between periods and, like, get a picture with us and buy us a beer. And it's like, oh, you got to come back for the playoffs. I got a, I got a condo downtown. You guys can stay there. It's like it's so far a mind blowing. eh? And yeah, like, like we're just, we've, we've been talking about it, you know, all day. It's like, 
we're just a couple of dudes. We're just here to see our squad, you know, just to be yeah. here is, was enough for me, but everything that's every buddy that's done all these things for us, it's just, it doesn't even seem real. Like I'll go back home and like tell these stories and people just think I'm lying. <laughs> They'll be like, Oh, we get it. You, yeah. They're nice. They stay open the door for you one yeah, time. You're yeah. like, no, they really are. Like, it's, no, I promise. Yeah. That's lying. cool. Yeah. It, yeah. It's been great. It's a, yeah. It's an amazing community. Oh, and so we were talking about this outside and like you both, I, I know you get snow where you are from, but mm -hmm. Dukesy, you don't see this stuff every day. No, man. And when you flew in, we had probably record low levels of snow on the you ground. Could, yeah. Well, you could funny, see so grass. <laughs> you could see grass. Dukes and I went for dinner on, what was that? Thursday? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And we were just talking about, I was like, what do you think of the snow and the weather and all that? And you go, you know what? There's not a lot of snow, but I'm happy to see it. Never see it before. And then you look outside yeah. right now, got a dump <laughs> like, of a foot. This, I'm just telling you for a, a day and a half span, this is even a little like, this is insane. Sh like blow, like this is blowing us away. Like I go outside and I'm just like, my God, this is oh, a yeah, lot. Like, and um, so you're you know, getting, you're getting the yeah. real like yeah. experience. Let the, real experience. Experience. Let the man speak I for God's sake. Ooh, him? Yeah, shut the fuck up. No. Man. Yeah. Thank you, Dukes. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Chris, goddamn Chalmers. Yes. Charm me out, mate. No. Uh, I'm charming. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it 32 as always. Um, yeah, like getting out of the airport, like I hopped in the cab and as we we're driving, it was like the shitty little brown bit of snow in the gutter. And I was like, fuck yeah, like snow, that's so sick. <laughs> and there's like outside of my hotel, like I'm up kind of high and it's just a parking lot. But when I got here, it was like just white. So even the shitty parking lot just looked like this really nice snow. And over the next few days, it just melted and became really brown and more cars would drive over it. And it was like, <laughs> look, dog shit. And then I woke up yesterday and it was just like fresh, you know, snow falling all day. So like every time I had a lazy day to, uh, yesterday, but every time I got up, I just went and sat at the window for like 10 minutes and just watched the snow. And it was just. Oh, it was magical yesterday. It was just wild. How are you dealing and, with the temperature yeah. though today? A little brisk. Like, honestly, like leaving the game Saturday night, it wasn't, it was like minus two or something. And I was like, like it was hurting my bones <laughs> just because I don't know. I wasn't expecting it. I was like, it's a 10 minute walk home. But I was like, no, I'm getting a fucking Uber like, Bruh. but then last night it was like much colder <laughs> and snowing. But because I guess I was like more mentally prepared. I'm like, this is going to like kick my ass. I've never experienced temperatures even near this low. <laughs> it was 36 where I live yesterday. That's a good like thing. You got positive. the big boots on too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I bought these. Look well. like you were planning I did, for I this kind of, of way. Yeah. Dangerous way to get, oh, you don't need to buy all this. And I'm like, fuck you, man. I'm, they make other clothing I'm than black. Fun. You I'm know that, fun. right? Yeah. Yeah. The guy, I do like the Jersey the, though. The, That's con the concierge. Well, this was from Australia. Oh really? Uh, yeah. It was like some streetwear store and it was like $200 and I just couldn't justify <laughs> it. And every it's now and then it would come back up in like my social media advertising and then another day I was on that store looking at something else and I was like, I'll just have another look at it. And it was down to like 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, sweet. It's pretty dope. Fucking awesome. So how the game's been, the experience of the actual in-game experience oh, for you? Pretty good. Like obviously the results have been like shit, but shit. <laughs> it's going great, Chalmers. But, um, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but just seeing like fans. Just little bits. Like I Yug and beers. I, I sat down uh, partway through the first warm up, and I was like, holy shit, like seeing McDavid that fast in person. And I was like, oh, hang on. That's fucking Ryan Eugene Hopkins. So then when McDavid actually got going, it was just like insane. Because, you know, like you go and watch the you know, Brisbane Super League or like the Australian League. And like those guys look really impressive to me. But that's obviously a long fucking way. That's semi-pro. So it's a long way from what, th what this is. And just that watching the things they do, like you see it a million times on TV, but seeing it live <laughs> is just, it just, yeah. it, it's, it's just crazy. Like it's. It's already not believable to watch what he does and Leon does and that on TV. And then you watch it live and it's even less believable. Well, I can't help but bring it up, but uh, I kind of feel like you've been ducking me. Hey, I've been here all along. I haven't been hot. I didn't get home till Thursday. And then no word. You were here already. No yeah. word of Friday. No. And then I get in touch with you on Saturday. I say, where are we going? What are we doing? For reference. I told you, I was, you, you said, where are you watching the game from? And you said, and then you said told me your exact seat. And yeah. I was like, well, I'm not going to meet you there. Yeah, well, I offered. Yeah, <laughs> well, you told you know, where he was. Yeah. That was real. How are you getting, to, like, how are well, you hey, giving Chalmers, away? Chalmers, That's just so does got to pause for context for listeners, for some who may not know, Dukes challenged Chalmers to a one for one rye drink off. And Chalmers really is pissed because this hasn't happened yet. 
He's here till March 5th. He is here till March yeah, 5th. So we just, we, we were outside. I got to meet him. You're a big hug. Fucking awesome to see him. Um, and immediately went into, when can we plan this thing? Cause yeah, Saturday, I mean, you've had a, you've had a, a, a big five days so far. Oh yeah. So Saturday, when I said, are we going to meet after at Greta? Like, are you going to Greta? I kind of got the feeling maybe you were going to take yeah, it a little easy. Like, and yeah. so that was fine. I was just home from Phoenix and a long vacation. So I was happy to Oh yeah, like, I, was, I was pretty gassed. I, but it's going to happen. I, I was going to call in and just do a quick at Greta, but like I went for one beer with my friend after the game and like I got like a quarter of the way through it and she was like, you look like you're about to fall asleep. <laughs> so I just was like, yeah. Yeah, no, it'll, like, it'll happen though. Even it'll- that first night with out, went out with Woz to Greta just to watch the game from the bar and I only had like, you know, three or four drinks, but the jet lag just hit. By the end of the game, I was like, seeing stars you and was walking around that must be interesting because people recognize was a lot and oh, you're a very crap. recognizable like, person too if you follow and then someone just sticks a phone in his <laughs> face like yeah it's was from my nation and then just walks off and he just like pauses he's like yeah hi and then just goes back to his <laughs> sentence <laughs> oh my dude i've been here five minutes <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny shit. yeah yeah but like it's cool like it's saying, super you know, cool they're just fans and they're happy and like he gets that it's part of the job because he's always like he makes content and stuff. And so that's cool. But it's just, yeah, like Brandon said, like have randoms pop up and just be like, oh, you're from Australia. How's your trip going? And I'm like, you know, there's 18,000 people in mm-hmm. the stadium. So I'm just one of them. Like I got no more right, you know, I'm no more special than anyone else who has a seat in here. So what's pregame plan for the game tonight? Well, this is the last thing we got planned, so we're just oh, gonna nice. kind of roll yeah. around and That's good. see where the wind takes us and make our way to it, the Rogers by some point. Brandon, it's your last day in the city, so your last chance to see an Oilers win. So hopefully they come through for you tonight. But like every day you've been kind of posting the four pictures on Twitter of what you've been yeah. up to and listing everywhere you've gone. Is there one place that maybe like really surprised you with how cool or how good it was? Here? Like so we went to Banff. That was oh. really cool. But in Edmonton <laughs> Yeah, Banff would have been unbelievable. Yeah, Banff was fantastic. Honestly, to see Northlands in person oh, yeah. after watching oh, the OG. like see Rexall and like touch it was really, really special. I mean, I know it's kind of like it's run down now or whatever, but to like see it before it gets knocked down, that was that was really, really awesome. Um, but then like we were talking earlier, just to see like the businesses that advertise for the Oilers, like Boston pizza and pizza 73 and Scotiabank. I've never seen any of that before. Yeah. And so like when we were driving in town, like just seeing like, Oh, there, there it is. There's their shop or whatever. That was, that's been really, really yeah, cool. Like I drove past like an Atco building. I mean, what the, what the fuck they sell. <laughs> but I was like, Oh, Atco, that's like always on the, get on the, you know, <laughs> brought to you by Atco. Yeah. And like yeah. coming from the airport past the industrial area, I kept recognizing all these business names. And I knew that was some sort of fucking industrial, whatever. I couldn't tell you what they what they sell or what they what their business is, but I know their fucking name. So just, <laughs> even that's just wild. The advertising uh, works, you know. Totally. And awareness yeah. coming up the motorway, like I know all, and names of like all these suburbs of Edmonton, like just from listening to you guys. But obviously, I've never been here. So just going up the motorway, and it's like this exit, and it's like lists a few of the suburbs. I'm like, shit. How do I know like all these names <laughs> like i could name you know like I, most of them i i already knew the name like recognized the name there were only a few that i was like i don't know where that like what that is hopefully wow. the others get you guys a dub tonight They're, they yeah, are i hope so yeah, they I are think yeah. like ten, i feel like yeah. tonight you know we we're saying the other night the wild are always a bit like a bit dicey fucking wild and i was like the 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 flames always seem to find a way to get that one win against this every season and i just knew that like well they haven't done it yet so Put yeah, together, put together sixty, put well, together sixty Oilers. That's, that's all I have it. to say. Yeah, nice. Oh, you mean yeah. you can't win with a solid thirty-three minutes? No, Tyler. Tyler's on a big McDavid hate mission right now. Yeah. Oh, he goes back I, and forth. Eh? I went in. <laughs> no, I'm not going that see, far. You know what? You send Matthias Yamar to yeah, Gitmo. But see, he, he three goals in four games and a big fight. The, he, he fought his way out of the gulag. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, he got hard. Yeah, he did. he did get hard. Fighting so hot right now in the NHL. Yeah, it is. McDavid just has fun. McDavid hasn't scored in nine games and he's looked a little lackluster he's defensively. So I just think he's not a, think he doesn't know that. Well, I'm just saying play yeah, like, sitting you know for it. Not, man. It's they all went out. They all went out in Phoenix and Nuge gave, learn, yeah. Nuge gave everyone a cold. 
Everyone's just, we're getting over Holloway it tonight. Holloway was patient zero, buddy. <laughs> Who, oh, Holloway was? Yeah. Okay, oh. Dukes, you brought me a gift, or us a gift. What is this? Oh, it's liquefied? It's, fucking, it's, it's, it's a squeezy bottle. So what happened was the day before I flew out, I just went to like the supermarket in Brisbane and just got like a regular jar, like you know, six bucks, whatever. And then when I got to the airport, I like was going through security yeah. and they like my bag beeped and they pulled it aside and they're like, oh, I was like, oh fuck, I forgot to take the jar out and put it in like my check luggage. Oh no. And it's a glass jar. So you can't like take, and I was like, yeah, like I forgot, like, you know, fucking throw it out. Um, and he's like, don't worry, like duty free, you know, everyone, as everyone's leaving Australia, like all the tourists go and buy one. There's heaps of stores that sell it <laughs> around in the airport. And I'm like, oh, whatever. Went around there. And that is like a hundred grams smaller than the $6 one I bought in the supermarket. And that was fucking $18. <laughs> Try it. Well, no. Try it. Um, Try it. Give I'll, I'll fucking, I'll, Try it. I'll it Your check. Okay. okay. What is it? It's, it's a spread. You put on sandwiches. Bag, bag sure. But but what what is its core it's ingredient? For vitality. Like, it's, 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 it's it's a yeast, it's, it's a yeast Honestly, extract. It's made from a byproduct of beer. Like they take this byproduct of beer and come on, try it, Tyler. It's gonna make me gassy. How Tyler no, no, disrespectful? Like, no, it's just like <laughs> oh yeah, well, it doesn't say brewer's yeast. It doesn't say brewer's yeast. You gonna really disrespect okay. the gift and not like, try when it? You make when you have a sandwich, you put like butter on or whatever, and then you only have like a thin layer. Of that so stuff. well, so I actually eat this often. I've had it before, and I'm not. Trying I, it again. Like my, I make my <laughs> Try it. Try I can it, see why. Like, I can see why. Like if, if I grew up having, like if my parents yeah. had it, like I would be. Eating I it eat it often. Time. I don't think there's anything like. Like there's nothing I eat that's like similar to that. No, unless it actually no. has Vegemite in it. Yeah. As, but, as like, I grew up eating it my whole life, so like I when I make toast, even people from back home are like, "Oh, that's too much." I'm like. My toes, fuck you. Uh, but I'm told as, the secret is that layer of butter. Yeah, if you're, only, the butter, if you're only new to it, yeah, yeah butter. And as a Canadian like who really regularly thin. eats it, like how regularly? Easy. Twice a week. Really? 100%. Can, wow. I'm also getting a little bit of a, uh, because this was a gift that you gave it to me, not anyone else here. I feel like you guys might be fucking. Is this a Tyler's me. try? If, no, no, he, like, if I, he Dukes like, gave me the gift, I'd be like, "Cool, awesome! Dude, I, I need I another would, like, one in my I'll pantry." Open that and squared in my mouth right now. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't doubt know, that. that. Tyler, <laughs> tries. <laughs> Tyler tries. Tyler like, tries. I wouldn't recommend that for a first timer. Huh? But he's still gonna you, do it. Like, if you did that, oh. you would hate it. <laughs> well, that's on my finger. Yeah. So give it a go. Just give it a little taste. Give it a taste. So oh. than the normal. See, smell it. Yeah. <laughs> taste it. Oh, Come on, taste it's it. Pungent. If Jay it. does, I will. It's better than cat food. You gonna take a little? I, yeah. Fuck, man. Your bar's not real high. Jay tried it. Right. Let's be see. Emily, five. Be Emily. Emily. Four. Until Jay takes a drink of it. Whoa. <laughs> it's super salty. Oh yeah. yeah. Go on, Brandon. <laughs> Come on over here. Yeah, I like this. Oh, can I have a swig of that? <laughs> <laughs> whose earth water is that? I'm going to need to borrow it. Yeah, like, yeah, like <laughs> whose Dasani is left here? Mine that. pre-illness. <laughs> pre-illness? This looks like tar. Kind of. Oh, <clears throat> it's like, it's a, weird, it's a weird thing because it's like, once you develop a taste for it. Yeah. It's fantastic. It. Brandon, like you want to take, you need a little of this eating, old like, Dasani? I've been eating it my whole life, so like it's not a thing for me. Like, Yeah, I started but, eating it in like 2007 and I just carried there's through. Nothing, there's nothing else I eat that like has a similar. Do you know what it tastes no. like? It tastes like when you put like a multivitamin in your mouth and if you just let it sit there and it like dissolves in your mouth. I get like, mola- like salty you know I mean? molasses. I'm offended. <laughs> I wouldn't be. Can I have some of that, please? I'll, yeah, I'll like, you got to put the squirt oh. lid back on. <laughs> Show it some respect. The, the pros. Do. I don't normally get. Oh, whoops. Uh, it's okay. I'll get. get it. I'll get some. Anyone? I normally get because it's normally got like kind of seediness to it. Yeah, it's like it? a jar, like yeah. a knife, and you like spread it. Boy, that just doesn't go away, does it? No, <laughs> that is coating my mouth right now. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of vitamin B, though, if I remember correctly, <laughs> off there, Dukes. It's gonna okay. keep the uh, the mosquito bites down. <laughs> yep. I'm not even bullshitting. Google. I just can't think right now. It's. It's very overpowering. On a little trick or something? What? Oh, it's yeah, a like seal. It's pungent. Oh, hang on. No, that's oh. just a. That's just. A, that's to regulate the squirt. Yeah, I don't like to regulate my squirts. I don't know if I can watch this. Okay. <laughs> Get it on the video. Sit down. Oh, yeah, sit, sit down in the chair. Nobody will be able to hear Not you. Not on Chalmers' lap, but. Oh, maybe. No, no, no. <laughs> Nobody will be able to hear me. Got it. <laughs> YouTube right. will take it down. Oh, oh, that's so much 
Dodge too. Oh, that was about a hundred mils. Oh, was, I can't watch because if I start to go, somebody else might go. Oh. Then it'll be like stand by me in here. Let's see, man. That's home. Oh, yeah, sure. Taste of home. Uh, Brendan, you can't just, ride in my what's car. What's your beer right? in Australia? <laughs> what's your go-to? Oh, I have some special. I <laughs> <laughs> see. He's even struggling with Dude, it. My, I'm, a, I'm a Han Super Dry guy. Yeah, that's and I love, love James Squire 150 lashes. So like. Yeah, 150 lashes is pretty good. Stone and Wood's also good. Oof, I don't know. Um, but like VB's also Oof. like. Well, VB? VB's okay. Yeah, like whatever. Like I don't care. Like if I go around to someone's house and they offer me a beer, like pretty much whatever it is. Like, I'm, My eyes are starting to sting. I can drink, <laughs> I can drink a nice like, craft beer with all the fruity like <laughs> flavor. Like I went to Sea Change the other night. Yeah. yeah. Like the IPA's there and that like the extra, you know, crafty ones. I can appreciate that. That's really nice. But I can also just go and have like a Bud Light or like our equivalent back home. Like I'll just, a beer's a beer. Brandon, have you done anything uniquely Edmontonian? Have you, did you have a donaire? Did you do any? So as soon as we got here, so we're, we're staying downtown. We walked into the ice district and went into the ice house and both had Molson's and poutine with donaire meat. So oh, it's like is- just... All in one shot. Yeah, just baptism by fire. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. I've refused to drink any American beer the entire time I've been here. Smart. So I'm just, yeah, bathing in the Canadian liqueur. Nice. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Well, this was a nice little impromptu thing. That was a, that was yeah, a really was good idea. It was very nice to, to see on. you guys. Yeah. And yeah, no, it's me and you will hook up. Yeah, we definitely will. Sometime before the. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's on the table. Like, like, oh, give now the table your fingers lick. again. I it so into, oh, I give the catch table it a lick. This oh, oh. one is. This one is. I can't even flip it without even. I think my, I lick my this, fingers. This one does seem a bit more runny than normal, but yeah. I think. It's more it's runny? Because it's normally <laughs> like. It's, it's like a. It's a jar. thicker. Yeah, yeah. It's. Yeah. Cause Less it's viscous. A, yes, that's. Yeah, the viscosity is different. Yeah, the viscosity is more viscous. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <Science. laughs> All right, gentlemen, we'll enjoy Brandon, yeah. your last day, Dukes. I'm sure we'll see you around, but uh, thanks for doing this, guys. And thanks for being fucking Oilers fans, too, because this is yeah, awesome. No, it's, it's awesome. And can I just say to like the, sorry, that's okay. <laughs> the, the pride and like the love and the, how, how good this community is. Like that's, what's made this trip. We've been talking yeah. about a lot and I know like I follow a bunch of different sport from like all around the world. And a lot of them after that sort of first novelty wears off, like the Giants, I follow in the football. Like, but that's, I'll just wake up and check the score and like watch the highlights. I'm like, oh, cool, whatever. But like, I plan days, I plan weekends around Oilers games. And that's mostly because of like the community. Like, I'm sitting at home alone watching games at like one in the afternoon. But I jump on Twitter and I've yeah. got like, you know, a few hundred Oilers fans like watching right there along with me. And like, if it wasn't for this community, the Oilers had probably just would have ended up being another one of those teams that I just checked the scores at the end of the day and like, Oh, good on them. Like whatever. And then on top of that, like the pride everyone has for their city and like the fact that people like are just proud of the fact that we came over to watch their team in their like your team in your city and like being around here a few days, you know, nothing's per- like, it's not perfect, but like, it's no worse or whatever than like, we've got every city I've been to ever has like some problems, but it's easy to see why you're all so, so proud of this city and like what makes it good. And I was saying that, yeah, I just wish it wasn't quite that far for me because it would easily become <laughs> like an annual trip. Yeah. So, yeah. um, so what was your, what was your, uh, what your flight day look like? So my first plane got delayed. Um, so I left Brisbane. I was already in Brisbane cause I was in Perth the week before for work. So I got to Brizzy and just but like, is, is, is Brizzy home base. So I live at the moment, I live about a thousand Ks North of Brisbane. Um, but I was already there from your gym pie. Gimpy. No, a bit for, like, like <laughs> Gimpy's like two hours North of, of Brizzy. Okay. So I'm like a bit, you know, a, like 14 hours in a car. Okay. Um, but yeah, I was already in Brizzy for the weekend, so just kind of caught up with family and that. And then Tuesday morning, um, park my new park my car at my buddy's house, like in his garage, and then he dropped me out the airport. Around one o'clock, we boarded um, Tuesday afternoon, and then I got to Vancouver like six thirty a.m. Vancouver time, and had like a couple of hours between flights, and then I think I landed in Edmonton. Oh, around like one, you know, by the time I got off the plane and got my bag and was out f- waiting for a cab, it was maybe like two o'clock. What day though? Tuesday. So I left one o'clock Tuesday and like <laughs> landed one o'clock Tuesday. 
But then on the way back, I leave Edmonton at like 8, 8.30 Tuesday night and I land back in Brisbane Thursday. Uh, that's wild. It's crazy. So like, easier trek for you though. Yeah, a lot <laughs> easier. Yeah. So we just had to go from St. Louis, about two hour drive for us to Denver then Denver to Edmonton. So a couple legs, you know, a couple few hour flights. Yeah. A lot more uh, accessible for us. Yeah. I mean, like we was both like, it's certainly not the last, the last well, time. I want, I want you guys to consider coming on a nation vacation. hundred. Like if I, yeah, if I was no rich, like, cause I, <laughs> cause I landed like an hour and a half before you guys got back from Arizona. If I could have afforded it, I would have went and done that. Well, we'll like figure it out. Start of we do. Trip. We're, we're going to do that. We, one thing we learned from this last one is we need to have a no flight option. So it's, you don't have to come to Edmonton yeah, to yeah. go on it. Mm. Uh, oh yeah. Luck. Cause, cause I, cause when I found out about it, I like just looked up the flights. Like if I flew from Brisbane, met you guys in Arizona and then like came back here and like, that was just gonna, it was like an extra, you know, three, three and a half grand on oh, top yeah, of it. That's, that's me. Cause the, like flying through the U S and yep. all that stuff as well. Like I got lucky. I got, I, re- I got the flights on a really cheap, like whatever Cyber Monday is for apparently the Tuesdays, fucking like the air f- airlines, oh, yeah. Cyber. Sure. So my flights were really cheap. So if I added anything else onto my trip, the flight oh, cost was just going to blow you. up. So considering how far I came and like how long I'm here for, like I got it all pretty cheap. Yeah. Well, keep, uh, so in the summer when the uh, legal uh, releases its schedules, when we kind of plan our dates. So just- yeah. Keep an eye out. It'd be awesome. You want it? You, you feel a sense of community with Edmonton. Oh, uh, we can make, yeah. create this hyper crazy version of it when we go on the road together. Cause even like, you know, um, I, I know we've got to go, but like, if you listen to bed late than never, you know, I just fucking yammer on it. Anyway. Plug. <laughs> That's a good plug right so, there. <laughs> um, yeah. Tune in Wednesdays. Wednesdays. I buddy. got mucked up. Cause normally it's Thursday for like Thursday morning for yeah. me. And so like even real life on Friday, Oh, Thursday, I'm sitting there like, fucking come on. Like, what time does it go up? Because at home, it's up by like eight o'clock in the morning. Mm. Oh, those days, when I, those days when I'm late a couple God. hours, I'm probably driving you nuts. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's just been absolutely like wild. I don't even know how to like, yeah, like I, I wasn't, I didn't have anything planned that first day, a bit of adrenaline, you know, did a walk around the city and I was like, oh, all right, I'll go back to my room, you know, might order some noodle noodle or whatever. And then was text me and was like, Hey, we're going to this like Korean barbecue place. If you want to like tag along. And so I was like, yeah, you know, I was going to do nothing, but like even meeting him for the first time, like he pulled up out the front and I like walked out and got in the car. I was just like, Oh, Hey bro, how you going? Like, it's like you guys know each other. Like so even good. though we have never met oh, yeah. still, and even like us the other night, like when you walked in yeah, and it was like, after that first, like, you know, 20 second bit, it was just like, we were just chatting. Like yeah, just we always do. Yep. And it's like, even like meeting you guys and like meeting you now, it's like, we talk that often that it's not like, oh, it's so nice to like, cause it, it still is that really nice. Like, oh my God, I'm actually meeting you guys and I'm actually here. It still feels like surreal, but it's also just like, oh, hey guys, like how he's going. Cause comfortable. Cause it could be, to, it could be probably well, a little, I listen to overwhelming. Like, you know, Tyler and Liam, you know, have that five days a week. And then there's two real life mm-hmm. to oil is nation and the better late than never. That's like so you're 10 least, hours a week. You're yeah, hanging so out with us. And like, I live, you know, a thousand K's from my closest relatives and like, you know, I'm, you know, it's a small town. So you got a few friends and that, but I'm like, I might see my friends two hours a week, but I listen to 10 hours with a nation stuff. So I'm Amazing. like, this is like um, some yeah, weeks I'm cool. like better late than never is like my biggest social event for the week. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a uh, joint podcast this week at some point. Dude. Yeah, we will. Oh, that'll be Poor donkey's one. feeling left out. Yeah, he should sucked in. He All should. Right. <laughs> All right, we're going to step aside for our little midway go, break, but boys, this was really fun. Yeah, yeah really thanks, good. Thanks, thanks for the for, invite. This thanks for having us. Nice to have you guys. Bring us a win tonight. Oh, I'll do my best. Please. I'll, I'll yell shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's that helps. And I'll, start, Got and I'll start a wave really fucking early. Back on the Real Life Podcast, as always, delivered by DoorDash for a limited time. Our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code NATION25. 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code NATION25. I will not be DoorDashing any Vegemite. I had to go get a Dr. Pepper because I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Where'd you get that Dr. Pepper from? I just always keep that thing on me. Keep that thing on you at all times? That thing is a Dr. Pepper? Mm -hmm. The smell of it. 
when he squirted it in his mouth right next to me. That was aggressive. Gave me hot tub water mouth. <laughs> and I had to really breathe deep to not puke all over this place. I enjoyed your interview style with Dukes. Eh, talk over him. Desert your no, dominance. Just don't even let him talk. Desert your dominance. <laughs> you were like setting him up, him up for a question. He's about to talk and then you kept talking. And, and what is like, new about know, this? I can I, I, like, this. Is this well, your first time? Like, is this my first time here or something? But normally you make it about yourself and you just kept talking. You'd, you'd ask a question and then carry on. Okay, Walter Cronkite. Um, I don't accuse myself of being a good well, interviewer. Well, fucking Barbara Walters over here telling me how to interview somebody. <laughs> good one, Babs. <laughs> good one. Good question, Babs. You know what I just witnessed with my own ears and eyes was three people who liked Edmonton. They love Edmonton. That's good, man. One at a time. We're one not Orlando, time. Florida. We don't have millions of tourists coming here. But if the eight people who come to town like it, next year there'll be nine. Why and after really, that, there'll be 11. We should clip that, thing, that, that little soliloquy that uh, Duke's put together. Yeah, yeah, man. I know you guys I talked about. I think it's amazing, though, like the community just rallies around folks like that that come in from out of town, just from distance. Yeah. They're getting beers. They're getting tickets. They're it's getting, new, they're on the with. news. They're, they're on like, the it's, news. It's news. They that go people to buy came a to beer. Edmonton. We made the news. Did you hear the part where they go to buy a beer and yeah. the per and the bartender knew who they yeah. were? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I know you guys Who talked about this are, on the, Tyler, M. exactly yeah. the last wow. real life. You guys talked about the nation vacation, but like there was when we went to devil's advocate and Jay was like, I made this deal with these guys. We're going to do it from there. And I told them we could probably fill up their bar. And you've always been right with that. There was no doubt in my mind it was going to happen, but the sheer volume at which it happened, that people that were not on the vacation and people that just, were there because they heard they were coming and it was just fucking Broke awesome. Player, man. Man. Yeah, it was like was the best there. bar. We like, my parents didn't want to leave. They stayed after the game and we played shuffleboard and my kids were in there and like, did they, mama see, see the nation in real life? Oh, oh yeah. they, all the glory. Oh, your parents are so sweet. I'd never met them before. They're the best. They're the best. Yeah. yeah they're great. You believe they're related. Yeah. <laughs> Calm. Calm, cool, collected. Polite, but also kind. let Dukes talk in an yeah. interview. Listen to others. <laughs> oh, they do not. Let others speak. But also there were some of the mannerisms where I was like, mm, yeah, definitely. I can see where Chalmers get some of it from. It was. Well, Mama uh, C's got some fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mama C is one of three women in the world I'm scared of. She, she's got a, she's got a side to her. She'll, she'll lay down the line. I remember her yelling at me once at the golf course and I was 22. And I like went home later and like thought about my life and looked at myself in the mirror. And was like, you need to change. You need to change. Who <laughs> she you does are. that. I'm not I'm mad. Like, I'm just disappointed. No, she yelled at me because I was <laughs> yeah. peeing off the edge of the patio. And she oh, caught me. Yeah. Oh. She's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And like my mind was blast very drunk, Tyler. <laughs> I thought we did not. We, but we we denied for a long out of that. time. We yeah. did deny our way out of that. Statute of limitations. I did, we, did we somehow pin it on someone else? We blamed it on the server that blamed it on us. Yeah, it was good. Because we didn't be get for that one. No. We we're close. Very close. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. There have been suspensions at the golf course yes. and mama sees the principal. She yes. doles them out. Yes. So she charges us money every month, which is scary. And then distributes punishment. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget the first time I ever heard about you existing on this earth. Chalmers was when I signed up at the golf course and your mom was like, Oh, I have a son out here. I'm sure you'll know who he is <laughs> really fast. I was like, he's my greatest enemy. Mm -hmm. I don't even need to see him. I know right now. And that was 73 years ago. Yep. To the, to the day, to the day. People love Edmonton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's nothing that makes me feel better than to hear somebody say, I had all my expectations blown away by this. I was really hoping to catch him at the end of like a four day bender on this drinking contest. That's why I was pushing hard for that Saturday night. But I, I could too tell. Much of a machine. Yeah. I could so tell. You guys are going to do this. So, brunch for Ben on. The, they do back to back Saturday, Sunday. They do Saturday, Sunday. But Saturday's a day game, right? Two to yep. five. Yep. Yeah. And then Sunday is the seven o'clock. So, I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Plus, he might be going out of town. He might actually be going to Banff this weekend. Who, Dukes? Yeah. Yeah, I love that Waz is just like, whatever I'm doing, Dukes, you're in. They like, yeah. He like invited them out to date night. And then I'm at the Oilers game hanging out with them at the intermission. And I'm like, oh, Dukes, like you going to go see the mountains or something? He's like, yeah, maybe. And Waz goes, ah, well, I'm going to Banff for a wedding. You want to come with? I got, there a, we go. I, got a, I got an extra bed in the hotel room. He <laughs> says, Dukes is like, I don't know, free trip to Banff. I'm like, he said I have so an extra Waz. bed in the hotel room. Waz. Yeah. yeah. Waz, his girlfriend, and Dukes. Yeah. Waz, yeah, it's Waz okay with Dukes. Dukes. Wedding weddings work, and also how weekend mountain getaways go with your girlfriend. It's okay with Dukes <laughs> was, but if you keep was, doing this, someone's thing. gonna murder you. I just, Dukes. I want to know if he's Dukes asked the wedding party 
if like, hey, can I have a plus two? <laughs> is there There's an extra? No way that thought came. No. Are you guys no. going to show up and be like, hmm, yeah. what, what, where's you, Duke's name on the table? You can't seating, just bring here. a guy to a wedding. <laughs> There's no way that thought. I just even thought if I invited him, anyway. he'd naturally appear everywhere. This is my girlfriend and my boyfriend Duke. He's like, the, what have you turned into? He's one? the epitome of. It, he's the epitome of. It's the thought that counts, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, no, we're funny. a throuple. So what else is new, boys? What are we talking about? What are we doing today? Oilers are sliding. Oh, they mm-hmm. suck. Tyler hates McDavid. Mm-hmm. Is it the end of the McDavid era? Could be. Our oh, goaltending. Yeah. Get, I'm running his ass out of town. Thinks, oh, wow. Yeah, he thinks McDavid's on the downhill. Oh, wow. The back nine of his career. Our goaltending yeah. sucks again. Leon's unhappy. <laughs> For the, record, for the record, for the record, I'm on. I'm on. Ironically, wearing a Connor McDavid jersey today because I just think everybody needs to remember. Ninety-seven. Yep. We're yeah. Fine. Yeah. Last yeah, time, Leon got a little pissy in the media, though. He went on a heater of all heaters. He did look angry. Yeah. Well, well they're sliding. They're pissed. They should be. There's going to be a hangover when you win 16 games in a row. How long's that hangover been now? Seven games. Uh, uh, nine. I'm going to choose to believe that whatever yeah, we won some games in there. there was, we yeah. did. We're not Owen right now. It's oh, sliding. Nine, nine. Whatever Nugent Holloway had, it's going through the team. That's why nobody can put what together six this weekend. I have not been that sick for three straight days and I cannot remember. Yeah. And that's why we can't put together a, a solid full 60, but I think we get over it. Turn down quick eight here. pounds, Chalmers. Right. Feeling shredded. Ooh, oh, nice. good on you. After light. twelve Move days, around. after twelve days in the desert, I could use to shed about forty. <laughs> it is too much. <laughs> Clothes don't fit when I get home. Fucking nightmare. Well, that's the thing about nation vacations is like it's tough on the body. Oh, yeah. It's not like we eat well while we're down there either. We try to. We'll try to mix I, in a I salad. Always, I always go with good intentions. I'm going to yeah. eat well. You guys get in and out while you're there. No, but definitely overrated. In and out is not even good. I don't get it. I was, I was something, one of those things in life I just don't get. Did you get it animal style? Though? Okay. Uh, what's animal style again? That's the secret menu. No, see, I just get it the way they got intended. The artist it. presents. Yeah. Yeah. And boom, yeah, it's just underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. And well, packed. Uh, Greta watch party on Friday or Saturday. Um, was, How was that? It was, despite the result, it was still good. I heard good things. Yeah. It, it, I think like. Did event, anybody like, challenge you to the football game? Yes. So I walk up. Do my thing. What's the highest score? It's 440 K boom, 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 boom. 565. Good. I'm done for the night. Liam goes, probably plays it goat mode. 30 to 40. Listen, times. I saw that video of Liam playing it. There's, he's not going to come anywhere near the he record. Thought, that kind of I, I don't know if he thought you got multipliers for like throwing harder. Cause the amount of times he'd throw so hard and miss and then bounce over his head and like go into the bar. Just like real basketball. If yeah. you throw it hard, you get a four point shot. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty funny. No one came close. No one touched the record. If you miss the 99, when it comes out, you might as well just stop. stop playing yeah, you get hit and restart. Yeah, yeah. Well, it only comes out once. The reality is Tyler is really good at it. So then I'm watching Liam's attempt. Waz well, got him looking real bad. Why are you he so good at look, bar basketball? Just general goat mode. Bar, bar football. football. Bar football. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's the one where you got those little flaps come out and you got to hit the flaps. It's got three circles. The bottom one's big, middle one's smaller, top one's really You're not small. Small. No, he goes I, medium. I, I can't even give that He goes that medium, but then he hits all the flaps. No, like, he goes all the mediums until boom, the flap boom, comes out, boom. and he goes flat. Yeah. And if there's ever no flaps out, he gets the medium. But I'm a systems QB. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite line systems to use. Systems guy. And I'm usually the only one who ever laughs at it. No, um, I laughed at it. I knew the first time he said it. But yeah, it was really, really fun. Uh, we So Free Play for Kids was there. They were our charity partner for this one. Mm-hmm. And they donated three... War of the new Warrior Covert Senior Hockey Sticks as raffle what? prizes. And I, two games ago in Beer League, shattered my stick, haven't gotten a new one yet. You've been so playing I'm, no stick whole so game? So I'm sitting there, I'm like, <laughs> I've just been using like a half broken <laughs> backup. Stats it's are oh, oh, oh. around in his yeah. hands. If you get a stick, you'd be way better. <laughs> Shut up. He plays ring at now. He's going yeah. out there like Connor Brown, like just skating around no stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All vibes, no goals. Uh, <laughs> so Lance Kane ended up winning one of them. So I went over to him and I'm like, Lance, I want that stick. And it was left-handed, 80 flex. I'm like, I want that. I'm like, what's the deal? He goes, I'm a goalie. You can just have it. And I was like, Lance, damn it. No, you're supposed to negotiate with me. I was like, what do you want? I was like, do you like hats? I'll get you a nation hat and I'll buy you a beer. So still free for him. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I'll get you some stickers. (laughs) Can I interest you in a subscription to the YouTube? Come by the shop. We still have double XL Betway hoodies. (laughs) You can have eight of them. (laughs) Uh, And then he was like, because he's been on me all year in the chat. 
Tyler's friends. He just won't. Tyler and I are friends. He just won't admit it. And then he goes, I want you to admit on air that we're friends. So I said, Lance, you know what? I want this hockey stick so bad. And I'm kind of drunk right now. So I'll do you one better. I said, I'll make you the lead on Monday's show that you and I are best friends. So that was a fun little moment. But the, the only party. way to actually prove so it. So you is still to, didn't pay for it. Yeah. No, you need I to engage. Jeez, engage in Lance, friendship. You could have got that and money. Mm-hmm. Probably could Sorry, what did you say, BM? He needs to engage in friendship more than just offering platitudes and saying yeah. he is friends. Oh, uh, when I was walking away to go do something after I chatted with Lance, he said, oh, is that Amber over there? I said, yep, you can go talk to her. So I, that's a friendship oh. activity. <laughs> no, you should bring Amber and introduce her to him. <laughs> yeah. Your friend. The she real way to know that Lance is your friend is when Amber gets the 3 a.m. FaceTime with you and Lance. Ooh, that's friendship. That should have been included in the deal, Lance. <laughs> you, you know, on a 3 I'll tell you FaceTime. what, next time I'm up at 3 a.m., I'll call you, Lance. And then we'll conference call my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> just loop everyone in. Just loop everyone in. Home okay, are we friends, friends now, Lance? <laughs> <laughs> are we even on the stick? Are we live on IG? Absolutely fleeced, Lance. Yeah, poor yeah, Lance got sick. fleeced. I think he would, I think he came out all right. I don't. I think it's a. I think it's a win-win. Lance, next time you win a prize, I'll do way better than that for yeah, you. If your geez. friendship can be purchased for a hockey stick, can your sexual companionship be purchased for money? Much less. Like you're already a hooker. You're hooking. Yeah. You're hooking for sticks. Your friendship hooking for sticks. And I have no regrets. I'm very excited about that. It's a nah, slope. The prizes were awesome. We're gonna have a bunch more at uh, brunch for Ben on Saturday. So if you missed the BOA party, you can come to brunch for Ben this Saturday. Still selling tickets over at Nation Gear. Dots. Yay. Obviously the Ben Stelter foundation is our charitable partner for this one. I know we got some youth hockey, youth uh, Edmonton jerseys. We are giving away in that one as usual specials with Greta as well. All the games will be fired up. And of course, Edmonton plays as well. So it'll be a good time Saturday at Greta. Um, but the Oilers stunk in that BOA. That was not good. Not good. When no, it was, marks your best player. Not good. Yeah. It was a good example of when one team's feet aren't moving, just how easily another team so can flat. just b- absolutely sloppy. run their show. Yeah. Sloppy losing sloppy. little battles just cause of like, you know, we have a saying on our team. Like if, if you need five strides, take seven. And we were taking three for when we needed five. giveaways at the blue lines. That was driving me nuts. It everywhere. Yep. Yeah. Everywhere and anywhere we were doing it. Yep, yeah. wrong. We're in a funk. I refuse to be as upset as I was earlier this season about this team. <laughs> we just came off an eight game and a 16 game win streak. We're in a little funk. We're in a funk. Can, can we? I'm going to go. Off. We're going to go around the room. BM. Yo. Thoughts on goalie pull at seven minutes and 50 seconds. It's fucking crazy. When you're up, when you're down by three, you knew they were just going to bomb it down the ice every chance they had. There's no risk of icing the puck when you're up by three. Is that a consensus take in this room? Does no, any- I loved it. I, I thought it was, I thought it was kind of cool. I, I I referenced a long time ago a podcast that I listened to where Malcolm Gladwell talks about that he did the analytics and talked to a specialist about you know an, an economist like that broke it down. What would be the best time to pull the goalie in a hockey game if you're down? And the guy said the earlier the better. At the ten minute mark, he'd pull him. I think it was Rob Volman was the guy who uh, oh. who did all the math behind that. He now works in the Kings front office, former Nation here. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so seven minutes. I was, I was but like, don't you think when you're up down by three, they can just bomb it down the ice no matter what? Yeah. No risk. Who cares? Icing. Who gives a shit? If it works, are we all thinking this guy's a genius? So my thinking is you, when it, there's seven and a half minutes left and you're down by three, you need one very fast. Yes. Like you almost have to treat that last two and a half minutes for the five minute mark as the last two and a half minutes of the game. Cause you're not scoring three in the final five. So like, okay, you really need one here. So giddy up, try to get one in the next 45 seconds with the goalie out, throw everything on net. You have six attackers. Maybe you force them into taking a penalty, whatever. I just think you're right. down by three. So, nothing so what, lose. so what the, the, the contrary to that, the people that think like BM thinks, and I don't, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know what I think, but their reaction to that will be, yeah. But if they score in that 250 before the five minutes, the five minutes doesn't mean shit. Now you've really wasted that five minutes. It also doesn't. I would and, argue and people have scored three goals in five minutes. Yeah, but like in a game like now, that, now, maybe but, not. But like it all comes down to math. Like what's the percentage chance of that? Looking how sloppy they yeah, were. Yeah, not the good. Puck, like they weren't yeah. doing it anyway. Yeah, they had to will it. <laughs> Man, but, I but just. They, but like get to get that spark as quickly as you can if they can get it. I wish he had that much nuts with a coaching challenge as opposed to pulling the goalie. Decent point. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what to think. I, I went my whole family was sitting there, my wife and kids. And they're like, what is he doing? There's still seven minutes left. And I went, 
right immediately like, yeah, that's early too. I kind of see what the idea is, but really didn't there become just passionate like either Calgary's way about end, it. I just didn't see any risk from Calgary's end to just bomb it down, bomb it down, take the ice. Who cares? Yep. Yeah. And that's for it. It only took because it was they tried. They tried two, three times, bomb it down, missed twice, third one's in. It took 25 seconds. They shot it down three times. Yeah. Do we yeah, like it? Shows you how bad we were. That well, too. that that too. So knowing how bad they were, so it just showed like, the goalie. It's yeah. So it's there's I I like the attempt. Do we like the forceful play from our captain in the game like that? I like him getting emotionally. He's in a funk, so I just like him being pissed. That's I had a bigger problem with Drysaddle's penalty than anything Connor did. Oh my god, that hooking penalty was just not good. Lazy especially because in your got- own zone. And especially because he, he got away with two calls right before yeah. that, and then the hook was just or offensive zone. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Dumb is super dumb. It's selfish, but he does that. That's not like an uncharacteristic thing for no. Leon Drysaddle to have done. No, it's yeah. not. No, now you're was... picking holes in Leon Drysaddle, and you called the end of the Connor McDavid era. I'm angry at everybody right now. Whole yeah. team, Spray except Yanmark, fucking somehow. Thank you. I'm not angry with Holloway. I'm not angry with Fogle. I'm not angry oh, with. I'm can I tell you what I'm angry about when it comes to Dylan Holloway? What? How that dude has, I think it was close to a team hire. So six shot attempts at five on five, and he plays seven and a half fucking minutes. Are you kidding me, Chris Knobloch? Let him fly. Let him fly. That's what my article's about. That's in drafts. It's he looked, he. Freaking Dylan Holloway. Play the guy. When what he are we was, doing? When he was oh on God, the ice. Voice went up an octave. I know. When he was on the ice against Calgary, he was one of the best players out there. Seven and a half minutes, though. Doesn't yeah, need it doesn't make sense. No, I'll keep rolling Evander Kane out there. He's he's going buck ten right now. Ugh. He's got twenty goals though. Dylan Holloway doesn't have twenty career goals. But like when you're down in a game like that, you, you want can... the guy with twenty goals this season. No, I I want guys to be held a little bit accountable. And no, I thought, that I agree with. You want the twenty goal man. He'll that he's I agree the one with. Who can but one guy has twenty goals this season. The other guy has like six career. Okay, goals. Okay, so going back to the <laughs> but, go, and I'll agree with this. Wait, but, what are we talking but, about? But going yeah, okay. The, uh, uh, your you voice Kane, went up a knock. <laughs> but you think Evander Kane was good in that hockey game? I don't. But I know if I need a goal, one guy's going to probably get yeah. it. The other one's okay. So not. here's where I'll disagree with you though. Against the Boston Bruins in that game, oh, that, that game was an awesome game, and Warren Fogle scored two goals and was playing great that whole game. Kane was kind of not a factor. But the we didn't have news. He said something. He scored goals. Right. So Fogel should have gone in. This That's what I said. This Holloway Kane comparison. To me, that's okay, the apples but, but, Okay, but we're still talking about Kane and we're still like, talking, we're talking about, about him Kane, being on Fogel, the ice. Fogel all day for me. Okay, so we're talking about after the first three on three, the initial three on three, Kane was on the ice for that second three on three shift in overtime. Yeah. And in my opinion, it should have been McLeod and, and Fogel, not Probably. McLeod and Kane. Probably. And so this is kind of the same thing. You're saying, well, he's got way more goals than Fogel has this year. But in that moment, it was a vibes thing. Holloway had vibes going against Calgary. He was one of our best players on the ice. So you play him. I don't care if he has more career or less career goals than Kane does this season. Kane wasn't a factor. And he hasn't been playing well for like two or three games was my point. Like I just, I... I would like to see positive play get rewarded a little bit more in the Oilers lineup. I understand when you're down three, I guess. Yeah. You want the guy who has 20 goals this year on the ice popping, trying to get you one quick, but and Dylan Holloway playing so far on this homestand, the most he's played in the game is nine twenty five. Yeah. How does that make sense? <laughs> no, it doesn't. And that defensive play by Kane and that Boston Bruins. You don't like the double pass? Oh back? my God. What the well, fuck? You can take it back to the, <laughs> oh, when we lovely. tied it up and Boston got the go ahead goal from that amazing pass that Kane made to nobody <sighs> in our own zone. Corey Perry floating around, doesn't take a hard stride all game. Like, fuck me. As advertised, though. Let's just well, like, let, let's, let's, look at, <laughs> I'm angry. A fucking run for the ages. Now, a couple off games, yeah. a loss to Boston that so, I don't, that I think they deserved, tonight. but what, what a great game. Tonight. I would love to see a seven game series between those two teams, tonight, which would be a Stanley cup final, obviously, but man, would that be exciting? But show up tonight, show, show up, up tonight. tonight. You know what the thing about funks is come to an end. They come to an end. It's not eternal. It's just it like, is, it's just like funky like town George right Clinton. It's, it's not the eternal town. grand funk railroad. It's not going to last. Drives me it nuts. Is not. Minnesota wild own us like through Air, like different generations of Minnesota wild teams. That one drove me nuts too. Cause the others were so far and away the better team. And then Pickard lets in three on 18. Boldy. Is that his name? Boldy. He's Boldy. one of those guys that reminds me of like what I thought when I watched Toronto and first ever got to see Hyman against the Oilers. And he was just such an impactful player and you never really had heard of him. This is like four or five years ago. And you're like, wow, that's a guy. I really, he just stands out. Yeah. I don't, that 
Boldy or Baldy. I never heard of this guy. Boldy's been he's feeding off us. This he year. is really good. Yeah, well, there's took Philip Broberg instead of Boldy, in case you're wondering. Oh, I was. I kind of was wondering where, where these guys come from. And then when you tell me that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, teams get first round picks. They actually, so what they do is they draft like really good players. They draft yeah, player crazy. And then they Ooh, develop them and play them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, holy shit. Like what Dallas emotion. had, Dallas called up Logan Stankoven the other day. The Stank Oven. <laughs> NHL, NHL debut. What are they doing? The play, play him 15 and a half minutes. Like, <laughs> What are we doing here? Dylan Holloway's played over 15 minutes once this year. Rookies coming to the league are having a big moment, eh? This but New York Rangers, Matt Rempe. Is that how you say his name? Yeah, Rempe. Man, what is I know everybody's talking about him, but like for good reason, man. That's three. Like at some point, though, someone that close to him should be like, hey, man. Yeah. Hey, man, maybe just don't take the next. Like take like two games off fighting. He just, that guy. <laughs> no, we need him for hockey. No, he was given, Blake Wheeler got hurt and he is taking his chance. And, and he will fight anyone. There's some really good scraps this weekend. Really good. Like Tanev and Garland. Tanev with the body shots. I've like he started the lawnmower. He just was throwing. Oh, he was he was, gra he was grabbing from way behind him and throwing yeah, these bunch. Uh, oh, did you hear Rempy's nickname? Oh God, no. Stank oven? <laughs> the stank of Empire of the Stank Oven. Uh no, it's the the Rempire States building. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yay! Uh, Merchandising. Good. Rempire State of Mind. There you go. I heard a good one the other day where people were talking about what they were going to do for Celebrini. It was suck weenie for Celebrini. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, merchandising. <laughs> suck weenie for Slacking Celebrini. Slacking for Macklin. That's the one. I like Chalmers better. Yeah. <laughs> Rubbing Sacklin for Macklin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, I wish the Oilers would play their kids more. Dylan Holloway playing fucking pretty much just him. Do you, how much do you think his minutes is? He's got one goal in like 16 games. I feel like he'd score more if he played more. <laughs> how much are you going to give him? <laughs> Chicken and egg. Yeah. Chicken yeah, you know, well, I mean, I, I'm gonna be like, I get he's underwhelming, but I just keep looking at these other organizations who have like Detroit. I know Lucas Raymond was a higher pick, but it's like Lucas Raymond, one of their best scorers. In the next three like, games, oh, we, we have better, yeah. the Kings, we have the better. Kraken, and then we have the St. Louis Blues. St. Louis Blues. Blues. Dylan Holloway, breakout game. One of those three games. Let's feel it. Let's let's manifest it. Manifest it. Because that would right. be awesome uh, if that right, could happen right about then now. Is I'm going to pick the Kraken because he did it earlier in the season against Seattle when we were there. Probably yeah. his best game of the season. Then he got, ended up getting hurt the next one. So I'm going to say Kraken Chalmers. I That'd like be great. That. That's next Friday. Game. Yeah. Or that's Saturday, actually. Yeah. Brunch for Ben. We'll do that. Uh, what's up with Kanye? Why is he not playing? Amen. Just old? Sick? Hurt. Not being chosen. Not being chosen. He's yeah. just he's just the, he's just the, Connor Brown the, the tenth him. guy. Yeah. Stop playing Connor Brown. I say play Connor Brown more. <gasps> you want to play him on a line of Dylan Holloway? PP oh, one man. unit? One of them's got a minutes slurp. a night. <laughs> what Connor, is Connor Brown's Connor Brown? highest goal total in a year? 22, probably. Okay. And what kind of performance has he had like last three, four years? I haven't looked that deep into this. Well, but he like, missed all of last year with a torn ACL, so. That'll, that'll hurt you. Usually. Right. Not great for a pro athlete. All right. Chalmers, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Career high was in uh, 2020, 2021 with the Ottawa Senators. He had 21 goals in 56 games. Okay. Next up after that, he had 20 goals with the Leafs in 2016, 2017 in 82 games. Uh, in between 14 goals, 16 goals, 10 goals with the Sens. So anywhere from about 10 to 20 is his average. Mm -hmm. I don't think that uh, career best season's at risk. Uh, not with four points and 47, no. I don't think he's going to beat it this year, Tyler. Point every 12 games, hey? Boy, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> All for the low, low cost of four million bucks. <laughs> All for the low, low cost of your soul. <laughs> yeah. I think that people aren't, I, I personally don't feel like people are very hard on him right now because I think people just feel bad for him. He's like, very snake bit. I think we're kind of numb to it. It's I, like, oh yeah, he's, he's here. I he like sucks. don't want to make fun of him. He right gets now. a lot of love on social. Like every time he misses or hits a post or does one of those Connor Brown <laughs> things, I very rarely see people criticize. I, it's because we're, we're beyond that now. Yeah. Now we're just cheering, cheering for, him. for him. He's like Rudy. It's yeah. like that he when you're dating. Because we saw Rudy. this with Tobias Reader. We've seen a goalless season before. You so. know, your day's going so bad and that one thing happens that you all of a sudden turn to just laughing about it. Yeah. It's kind of where we're at with him. Except well, he makes else 4 million US for his troubles. <laughs> eh? Poor Connor Brown makes 4 million. Uh, when he gets the puck, like he does get a decent amount of looks, but there are times where he'll get the puck like coming in down the wing. 
And I swear he needs like four solid seconds to load up his wrist shot. It's like, all right, he's got it. Like a couple dust offs. He looks and then he kind of like looks down at his feet and is like, okay, shit. Here we go, Connor my, Brown. Might he get says. a look here. And then he has to like oh. pull it all the way back like he's 12 years old and just learned how to take a wrist shot. And he, oh, well, man. you can tell like, how snake bitten he is because like if he's on a two on one, you know he's passing. He has no confidence in his shot. And when he does shoot, it's more likely to hit the post or miss. Oh, and when he's on right a 2 on one the other guy has the puck. I've watched a few times. He doesn't look like he wants to receive the puck. <laughs> no. No. He's like, oh. I'm good. Get just. All you. I get mine either way. He's yelling, it's all you. You. <laughs> Maybe he needs to scrap. <laughs> Maybe Brett Kulak and him need to take each other's places like Freaky Friday style and live each other's lives. Because they Who look tell so the much difference? alike. Nobody would Connor tell Brown, go live with Brett Kulak for two weeks. Play D. Is he married? Probably. You're going to like this, Connor Brown. You know what married people do? They argue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, couldn't what's, go any worse. What's Brett the, Kulak has more goals than Connor Brown. What's the show like tomorrow if we absolutely stink tonight? <laughs> what's your vibe? What's your, what's your, I'm not going in. I'm not yeah, going I don't think we are you know, either. For but our boy Brandon, I don't even want to talk about that. I want him to see a win. I want him to hear La Bamba. In Rogers' place, because that would be very rude of the Oilers to have all these out of town guests. The Germans came; and they won every goddamn game. What was Brandon's name on Twitter? Uh, Brandon oh. from Illinois. That's cool. <laughs> I'll have to find it. That's I don't. Cool. I don't I know. He might have shouted himself out. What is Brandon? I don't name? want to know people's government names. I want to know how I know them, which is by their social media handle. By the handle, yeah, yeah. yeah I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out later. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Not super prepped. All right. Uh, that is a wrap on today's edition of the pod. We went late because we started late. And that is an important note. Uh, you can never end on time if you start late. There you go. Uh, well, we're also a short in. show, too, because we have a gap here of what? That's probably like oh, yeah, six minutes. It'll be you know? like, yeah. Short show. Todd's oh, well. cutting us off. 